Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, went to the flea market this last past weekend and uh, had a pretty good PS1 score. Um, I got all these loose discs. I was spent thirty-seven fifty. It uh, rounded up to a weird number, the two fifty from thirty-five, because I had to spend an ATM fee to withdraw money. Otherwise, it would have been thirty-five dollars. Technically, it was five dollars for all these PS1 games, except for one of them was ten dollars because it had four discs, and the guy wanted fifteen dollars for the wrestling games and five dollars for everything else. So we got. Xeno gears. They were all. They all were in. Uh, by the way, this is my uh, CD case. When I found them at the flea market, they were all in a CD case. They weren't in cases. They were all in CD cases like this, and they were exactly like this with the manual, with uh, the disc sitting behind them. And I just happened to pick it up and notice a crap load of RPGs, and the guy was wanting didn't know what he had obviously because he wanted fifteen dollars for wrestling games five dollars for everything else and you'll see what I got coming up towards the end of the video uh... yeah Xeno Gears the uh, first disc is behind the manual Let's see if I go ahead and uh, grab that and then beyond the beyond uh, I put most of the, they, all of them had manuals, but none of them had the back cover, which is for the spine of the case. So I put the other ones in cases, some of the other games. These ones are either two discs, three discs, or like Beyond the Beyond's one disc, but the manual's too fat for a regular jewel case. They were supposed to be in a bigger, thicker jewel cases. So I just decided to use a, a CD case that I had with nothing in it to do the same idea like um was at the flea market so anyways Xeno Gears for the this one he charged five dollars even though it was two discs five dollars with the manual Beyond the Beyond five dollars with the manual this was the one I paid ten dollars for because it was four discs and it's Lunar the Silver Star Complete. And most of the discs are in pretty really nice condition. I didn't get the manual for this. I did get part of, I guess, the uh, CD. Uh, what else I did get for five dollars? Yes, Sudoken 2 was going to save that for last, but it was an accident pull out, so I'm not going to redo it. I'm going to keep it just how it is. But yes, this was $5 with the manual. I can't believe I found it really because I do know what this is. And by the way, when I got these games, they weren't in CD jewel cases like this. They were in, a, not this in particular CD case, but they were in one like this in a style that I showed you how the man how they sat behind the manual so unless you uh you he kinda had it open to where you could see the wrestling games and you could but you couldn't see any of the these games and as soon as I seen the loose wrestling games I honestly was not about to start flipping it because I just thought oh loose discs and you know most people don't even want to collect loose discs but um when it comes to something like this, I don't think anyone cares if it's loose, you know? Because um, there is people that will be more than happy, I'm sure, to pay $50 or so for the manual and uh, the disc alone. So it doesn't even have to be complete with uh, the back case. Though I do see one on eBay, it's like $45, not that I would buy it to complete. And these were also five dollars as well. The first one and Diablo. And uh, the guy does have a few more games that I'm going back this weekend, and um, hopefully I can get what he has uh, left. 
I don't want to say what he has until I have it or until I know it's gone so yeah I definitely can't believe I got this I'm not sure how you pronounce it Sudokin 2 find because in like seven years of collecting I knew what it was yeah uh, I was never too hardcore into RPG so it never really interest me but it's like I knew about its rarity since the dawn of time you know since 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 GameStop used to carry cartridge based games 10 years ago they would keep the copies of Chrono Trigger, Mario RPG like behind the glass or behind the counter or away from same like other stores and I always knew this was in like the caliber of those games so I never thought I would come across one in the wild even if it was loose disc but and it has the manual and the game is a little scratched it's like a medium condition but it works I tested it they all work and uh, yeah hope you guys enjoyed this is probably my second best video game score ever actually my first is the Sega one from a previous video from two trades this PS1 is my second and a Nintendo top loader I got earlier in the year for 20 bucks with two max controllers is like my third which I never showed the top loader on video it may be I may show it one day in part of the collection or something but that'll be another time anyway peace hope you guys enjoy hopefully I get some subscribers views and see you guys next time